Hello, everyone. My name is Atsushi Kakogawa from Mitsumeka University, Japan. Today, I'm going to talk about a mount link in pipe inspection robot composed of active and passive compliant joints. Pipeline maintenance is one of the major critical issues faced by humans. However, their replacement is costly and time consuming if constructed underground or placed in high buildings. Therefore, robotic in pipe inspections are attracting attention recently. In our previous work, an in pipe inspection robot with a mount link body was proposed, which is composed of passive elastic joints using torsional spring and can rotate around the pipe axis using spherical wheels. At the current stage, the latest version completed the travel through 50 meters long four inch pipelines, including both the horizontal and the vertical sections, 12 elbows, and one T branch. However, there are many challenges to solve. For example, the current robot cannot pass through vertical T branches, and it is impossible to travel through more than 50 meters long and more than 30 band sections due to the cable friction. Also, the rolling wheels tend to slip. One of the easiest ways to enhance a robot's adaptability to branch pipes is by providing an active degree of freedom at each joint. However, this leads to an increase in size, weight, and complicated system. So our idea is that the minimum number of an active joint for branch adaptations can only be one if other joint compliance and passivity are utilized. This is a design concept. When the middle joint is actively closing, the normal forces of the dry wheels can be increased. Similarly, the normal forces of the rolling wheels can be increased when the middle joint is opening. Therefore, we can increase the maximum static frictions and then avoid the slippage of the drive and roll wheels. Also, controlling only the middle joint angle make it possible to adapt to T branches, although we need to know the joint angle trajectory. The proposed robot in the presentation, composed of four links and active compliant middle joint two passive compliant joints by torsional springs, three pair of driving wheels, and two pair of roll wheels. Since all wheels contact the inner pipe surface, torque control of the middle joint is necessary. However, the reduction ratio of the gear head used for the middle joint motor is 693. This is very high. And it is difficult to estimate the torque from the motor current. Therefore, A50 rubber spring polyurethane shore was installed at the middle joint for series elastic actuation, which is well known as SEA. Polyurethane is a widely known material with superior mechanical properties, however, has poor adhesion properties when in contact metals. Therefore, in our study, a new technique called polymetac that Mitsui Chemical Corporation possesses was adapted to allow for strong adhesion and bonding with various metals. The conventional polyurethane rubber spring broke at 10 Newton meter, but new polyurethane rubber spring using polymetac technique is more durable. This is a relationship between the measured torque and angular displacement of the new polyurethane rubber spring. Although the hysteresis was not negligible, the torque error was within 10% in the range of plus minus 20 degree of the angular displacement and does not break up to 30 newton meter. This is very durable. This is a control system used for the robot. Canvas protocol was used to send a command and to get the signal from the robot. The target signals moving forward, backward, rolling around the pipe axis, stop, joint angle, and joint talk are all sent through a computer. These are the experiment to test the joint torque control in the vertical bend pipe and rolling movement with joint torque control. You can see here the performance was improved by changing only the middle joint torque. When the joint torque is small, dry wheels and roll wheels slip, but the slippage can be avoided with large joint torque. 
this is a measured needle joint angle and torque while the robot move upward and downward through the bend pipe. This is upward part, this is downward part. Another thing is the joint angle trajectory to pass through T branches. To get the joint angle trajectory, we use the simple kinematics that has been generally used for a robotic arm. Based on the typical kinematic model, the angle of the middle joint can be defined like this. To define the trajectory of the middle joint, an ideal movement in the T branch is assumed by dividing the transition of the robot postures into three phases. In phase one, it is assumed that the middle joint moves only horizontally at the constant speed, and the head joint moves only vertically at the same speed of the tail. In phase two, the wheel of P4 contact the inner wall of the vertical pipe. So it is assumed that the middle joint moves only horizontally at the constant speed and P4 and P5 moves only vertically. In phase three, except that P3 places an arc around the inner edge of the T branch, P4 and P5 moves only vertically in the same manner as phase two. The robot posture becomes symmetric against the line which is 45 degrees angle. It is not necessary to calculate the middle joint angle after phase three. The angle can be retrieved by reversing the phases backward from the phase three to phase one. This is a simulation result from phase one to phase three. Right graph plots the ideal middle joint angle to pass through T branches. Calculating the kinematics in real time is time consuming and not realistic for implementation. Therefore, the cosine interpolation is adapted to define the trajectory function of the middle joint angle. To test the performance of the joint angle trajectory control, we prepare two T branches. The first one is the case there is a wall ahead of the robot and pathway branches upward and downward against the travel direction. The second is the case there is no wall in front of the robot and the pathway branches upward and the forward directions. In both cases, the robot successfully travels through vertical T branches using the proposed joint angle trajectory. In this presentation, we propose the mechanism of an in-pipe inspection robot using only a single active and two passive joints that can control both angle and torque. Joint angle trajectory by cosine interpolation for vertical T branch adaptation and durable polyethane rubber spring for large torque of series elastic actuations. In the future, we are going to pursue the timing where the joint trajectory should start and long distance experiment for real applications. That's all my presentation. Thank you very much.